Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the local security authority option is missing on your computer. So if you're going through your Windows security settings and cannot find this option in there, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully make it visible once again. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, you're going back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything would go wrong, you can easily restore it back. And in order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the file tab and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer or external hard drive. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now that that is out of the way, let's go ahead and begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for a current control set, so double click on that. Should be a control folder in here. Double click on that one as well. And then go down to the LSA folder and just proceed to left click on that one time. If you need to pause and take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of the window here. Each bank slash indicates a different sub key that we have went under to get to this point. So now that we are here, you wanna go ahead and locate on the right panel, something that says run as PPL. If you do not see an item in here with that name, you're gonna go ahead and right click in a blank area. Select new and then select the word 32 bit value. Run as PPL. R in run, A as in as, and then the PPL, those three letters, all those items should be capitalized as you see on my screen. This should be case sensitive. Hit enter. Again, no spaces in between any of these words in here either. And once you've done that, you want to double click on this value and set it to the value data of the number one, so numerical one. Base should be hexadecimal, and then select OK. And then once you've done that, go ahead and close out of the registry editor, and we are going to proceed to restart our computer at this time. And there you go, guys. So hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do apologize to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.